What's up, everybody? Happy Wednesday. Wednesday. <laughs> Happy Thursday. Hope all you're having a great day. Um. Anyway, getting into this episode of YNR, I freaking love this episode. I loved it. It was a lot of drama, a lot of family drama, a lot of corporate drama. The key word here is drama. Like, that's that's what it was. It was just a lot of drama. Getting into it, um, everything is a hot mess right now. Hillary, Lily, they're at the hospital. Lily came away unharmed, her and Charlie. You know, they came... Lily had a couple scrapes and bruises or whatever, but she'd be all right. Hillary got the worst of it, of course, because if you've seen the accident, you saw that truck ram right into Hillary's side of the car, the passenger side. So she got the worst of it. I I have to agree with Dr. Um, West. I felt like Nate was a little arrogant when he wanted to take over the case and stuff like that because he pretty much guaranteed them that he could save or promised them that he could save Hillary and the baby. As a doctor... That's the worst thing you could ever do. One of the worst things. You do not promise anybody that you can save anybody. What you do is you you promise them that you will do your best. I You know, he just seemed a little cocky, a little arrogant, talking about, oh, I could save Hillary. I could save the baby. I wouldn't have done that. I wouldn't have promised that. I wouldn't even made that declaration. As a doctor, you're not supposed to do that. You don't tell people what you can deliver. You don't tell them that, oh, I can do this, I can do that. Just tell them that you're going to do your best. That's all you can do. As a doctor, a lawyer, cop, whatever you are, do your best. Don't try to be cocky with it. Don't try to be arrogant saying, oh, I can do this, I can do it. No, 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 no. Because then it's going to it's going gonna, it's gonna to backfire on your ass and you're going to look stupid. I'm telling you, you're going to look dumb and then people might lash out at you. Chill out. Um, because when he came up out that OR, he wanted to immediately do surgery. The doctor did not want to immediately, the original doctor, Dr. West, he didn't want to do surgery right away. That's not what he wanted to do. He wanted to take some time because they were trying to get her um, stable. Because she's in critical condition. They're trying to get her in stable condition in order to do the surgery. I had to agree, even though I'm not a doctor, but I've read about these things. I've seen about these. You're supposed to wait until the patient is stable. You do not do surgery when they're in critical condition. No, 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 no. Because they can die on the operating table if they're in critical and you're trying to do surgery because they can't handle the surgery if they're in critical condition. Is going to make it worse. If they're stable, they have a good, you know, a bigger chance at surviving because they're stable so they can handle the surgery. He should have listened to Dr. West. Nate wanted to come in near like a white knight, fly in, be the hero, and it didn't look like it worked out that way because he came out the OR looking like something went wrong in, in, the, in the surgery. Um, I hope, I hope that they're not killing the Hillary character off. I hope they're not. Um, I feel like it would be stupid to kill Hillary off because she could always come back. I, the way I would have written her off is just let her go to some type of rehab facility or whatever to help her heal. But I would not have I would not kill her off. Hillary is an asset to the show. Um, and she's definitely the type of character that should come back in the near future. You know, whether Michelle Morgan chooses to come back or whatever, or they could work something out, I feel like they should have brought her back down the road. I feel like it's stupid to kill that character off. Very dumb. And first of all, if they kill her off, who the hell gonna get G C Buzz? Who gonna host the Hillary hour? Mariah? I'm just saying, I don't think it's a smart call to kill her. I don't think that's wise, but um, I definitely see Lily taking the blame for this car accident. Technically, that's basically what Charlie was trying to tell Kane. Like it was kind of Lily's fault that they got into that accident because Lily may have not realized it, but she did run the red light. So legally, she's responsible for this um, because when you're driving, instead of arguing with Hillary, Lily should have been paying attention to the damn road, but you're not paying attention to the road. So you got into a car accident. I will say this because I wasn't able to speak on it yesterday, but I will say it today. I feel like Lily was totally right in 
going off on Hillary about Charlie and Shauna being alone in the penthouse. I felt like that's not what you were supposed to do. I felt like Hillary was trying to be more of a friend to Shauna instead of a guardian slash parent, surrogate parent. I felt like she should have been more, you know, I understand some parents want to be their kid's friend, but you need to be a parent first. That was not the right call to make, to let them use the apartment and be alone. You know, two teenage kids whose hormones are all over the place. You ain't supposed to do that. You know what I mean? So Lily definitely made the right call on that. And I understand why Lily was pissed. But she is at fault for the for the accident. I have a feeling, though, when Devon comes back, I have a feeling somewhere down the line he's going to blame Lily for this. I think he might he might blame her for it. Because had she been paying attention to the road and stopped at that red light, you wouldn't have gotten into that accident. I'm just saying. Um, as much as I personally hate to blame Lily, but she is at fault for this. So I don't know if she's going to have to pay some type of consequence for it. I don't know. But only time will tell. Um, but she definitely wasn't trying to hear shit Shauna had to say at that point. Shauna trying to apologize to her. Lily did not want to hear nothing she had to say. She just told that little girl, just focus on Hillary right now. Just get out my face. I don't blame her, though, because Shauna has definitely been a firecracker since she's been on this show. So I kind of don't blame Lily for not being in the mood to talk to her right now, because in a way, even though legally Lily's responsible for the accident, they wouldn't have went out looking for her if it wasn't for Shauna running out of the penthouse. They caused all of this mess with their foolishness. But um, there's definitely going to be some bad consequences because Neil, he kept trying to get in touch with Devon, but Devon, I guess, was in mid-flight or whatever, so they couldn't get in touch with him yet. So I know he's going to be distraught when he come back. Um, so anyway, moving on from that, this whole battle between Nick and Victor is definitely affecting everybody. Um, Sharon is a hypocrite, I will say that, because... She is upset because Nick hid all this information from her or whatever. But, bitch, you're a part of a murder cover-up. And Sharon has kept her fair share of secrets from Nick for years. So she's in no position to sit there and talk about Nick keeping secrets when not only have you kept secrets over the years, you're currently keeping a secret. Like, who are you to judge him for keeping a secret when you kept a secret? You know what I mean? Like, it's it's... So Nick basically put it out to her like this. If you don't like my methods, you don't like the way I do things, let me know because we don't have to be engaged. He basically put it to her like that. And I kind of don't blame Nick. But, I mean, you definitely see Nick starting to act like Victor. And I feel like that's kind of what the writers were kind of going for, another Nick. They were trying to, it, it looked like to me, they're trying to make Nick and Sharon the new Nicky and Victor, the younger version of Nicky and Victor. And I'm not here for that shit. I'm like, no, no, no. One Nikki and Victor is enough for this show. We don't need two or four or whatever. We don't need multiple. Let's just put it like that. We don't need multiple. Um, but I'm loving the fact that, well, before I get into that, it looked like Sharon is done with the engagement. She kept taking off her engagement ring. Now she took it off her finger. She looked like she about done with the engagement or whatever. Um... Honestly, I'm I'm happy if they do break up because I definitely don't want to see Nick and Sharon get back together again. Like I said, when they first got engaged, it was too soon. And I knew they were not going to make it down the aisle. That was obvious. I was like, watch, they're not going to make it to no wedding. I re you could see that. I could tell they wasn't going to get married. Um, Even though they still might, but I just don't want to see it. I think I'm done with them as a couple for now. Um... If the show was on its last day and it was the last episode, the very, very, very last episode, then I would say, cool, let Nick and Sharon get married. But for right now, hell no. <laughs> They're not ready. Nope. Um, I will say this. I'm looking forward to this battle between Nick and Victor. Dark Horse International versus Newman Enterprises. Nick has impressed the shit out of me. Let me tell you, he did all of this shit behind Victor's back, behind Nikki's back, behind everybody's back. Even Jack was impressed because he was like, that's no small feat to do all of this and finesse all of this behind everybody's back. Nobody knew. He kept it hush hush. I was like, that's impressive. That's some shit Adam would be doing. You know what I'm saying? So for him to be on that level, for Nick to be on that level, that's hella impressive. I will say that. Very impressed. Um, 
the one person who was not impressed was Victor, of course. Victor wasn't here for this shit. He basically told Nikki, if you want to make peace, tell Nick to shut that damn company down and we could probably, you know, make some peace. He said, tell him to shut that shit down before I shut it down for him. Because, <laughs> you know, Victor about to be on the warpath. He was like, you better tell his ass to shut that company down. This is his one last chance. If he don't shut it down, I'm going to shut it down for him. Um, some things that were predictable, I kind of figured who was going to, I knew who was going to join Dark Horse and who was going to stay with Newman. I already knew. That was predictable. I knew Abby was going to jump at the chance to work for Nick or work at Dark Horse. I knew Jack Abbott was going to be a part of it. Of course, he is as a consultant and a board member. Noah, I knew Noah was going to jump from Newman to Dark Horse. That was obvious. The one thing that wasn't so obvious was Summer. I kind of figured Summer was going to jump to from Finmore's to Dark Horse, but she chose to stay at Finmore. She claims she wants to stay there because it wouldn't look right for her to just go to another company when she just got this job. I felt like that was a lie. Um, it might have been partly true, but the majority of it was a lie. She wants to be close to Billy. We all know that. Because if she works at Finmore's, that means she works with Billy. So, of course, she wants to stay there. Um, but I wasn't shocked that Nikki decided to stay with Newman. Victoria decided to stay with Newman. Because Victoria always wanted to run Newman Enterprises. This is her shot to run that company. Now that Nick's out the way, Abby's out the way, Adam's dead, this is her chance to run that company. You know, and she basically told Victor, I wanted in writing that when you step down as chairman and CEO, I get to step up as chairman and CEO, and I also get my chief operating officer title back. He told her he had put it in writing. See, I don't trust Victor. Victor could easily put it in writing, but he could easily change it. I would want an irrevocable document that basically says he has no choice but to give me these or or else. You know what I'm saying? Because he can legally change those papers. I want it in writing. I want it airtight. I want no loopholes in the contract. It has to be airtight because he can easily find a loophole to get up out of that. So I don't know why Victoria didn't ask for some type of assurance other than the document. A document that he can change. I'm just saying because, you know, I don't trust Victor. But, um, Abby, you know. I understood where Abby was coming from when she said, you know, she felt undervalued at Newman Enterprises. She felt like her father, you know, didn't take her seriously. I kind of agree with that. Then again, I kind of don't. Because when Victoria quit Newman, he made Abby COO. He even gave her a bunch of divisions to run. That dating app that she came up with, her and that dude, Zach, or whatever, um, that damn dating app turned out to be some type of prostitution ring that cost Newman millions of dollars. That's the reason Victor demoted her. And in business, I kind of agree with Victor on that. I would have demoted her too because if you're the COO, she should have saw this coming. You know? It was her responsibility as chief operating officer to oversee that, that division. She failed. That was a damn prostitution ring that she had no idea about. And you cost Newman millions of dollars. So Victor was well within his rights to demote you. I didn't like the way he did it, though, by publicly embarrassing her. I felt like that was trifling. But he had every right to do it. Um, but like I said, I can understand why she wanted to jump ship. Because this is her chance to work with Nick and for her to prove to everybody that she is a competent businesswoman. So I can understand why she did it. That was predictable. Jack being a part of it, predictable. Jack would use any excuse to stick it to Victor. So him working at Dark Horse, being a board member, not surprising. Um, I know Nick feels like he can trust Jack for now, but I feel like in the long run, I would not trust Jack Abbott as a board member. You basically just gave him a slither of power making him a board member. I wouldn't trust him. Because who's to say at some point down the road, Jack isn't going to try to stab Nick in the back and take over Dark Horse. I mean, come on, Jack Abbott, is that's not above Jack Abbott. Trust me, he would do it. Quick, fast, and in a fucking hurry, because that's how Jack is. Noah working for Dark Horse? I'm not surprised. I'm not shocked. But Victor definitely has a fight on his hand, and I'm looking forward to it. Dark Horse International versus Newman Enterprises. Let me know in the comment section, which team are you on? Are you Newman or are you Dark Horse? I actually like the name Dark Horse. I actually like it. Something fresh is new. Some people say they don't like it. I like it. But hit the comment section. Let me know what y'all thought about this episode. And I will see y'all all later. Peace.